Let's now add the features at the back portion of our model. I'm going to hold my shift and middle mouse to rotate. I'm going to head up to sketch and select center diameter circle. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. I'm going to select this face, left click. I'm going to zoom in and pan. I'm going to drop our center point here. And left click once more. So take note, we did not input any value. I'm going to hit escape to disable the command and go to our sketch palette constraints and select horizontal vertical, selecting our center point and our origin, aligning them both vertically. I'm going to hit escape and zoom in. So now I will left-click our circumference to resize our circle and grab our center point to drag this one down. And now I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension and select our circle. I'm going to drop our dimension here and key in 19. Hitting enter. So once more, hitting escape, selecting our center point, and moving this up. So take note, I have selected our center point. I'm going to hit D and select our origin and drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 43, hitting enter, and hitting escape. So going to home view. And turning on the visibility of our canvas, going to right view, and selecting our newly created sketch. So take note, we have an offset here. So meaning we have to further extrude our slider down. Now, if you happen to notice, this photo is a bit inclined because of the perspective view. Let's rotate once more and select our back view or look app. I'm going to zoom in and hit L to grab our line tool. I'm going to drop our first point here. And notice I haven't made, a, made another left click. So now I will hold my left mouse button to create an arc, release, and left click here once more, hitting escape. So now let's add a tangent constraint here. I'm going to select this line and our arc, control left click, right click, and select tangent. Next, I'm going to hit escape once more, go to constraints, selecting horizontal, vertical. Selecting this center point and our center point, hitting escape. So once more, inspecting our reference image, the additional material that we need to add should be somewhere here. So I'm going to go to stop sketch and home view. I'm going to go to sketch two on our timeline. I'm going to right click. So once more, if you are having a difficulty selecting, left click anywhere outside to deselect any selection and hover over to sketch to right click and select edit sketch. I'm going to zoom in and delete the our 36 dimension D4. going to delete the dimension 19 and grab our horizontal line further down. Going to hit D, selecting this horizontal edge and this horizontal edge. Dropping our dimension here and key in 25. Hitting escape, moving our sketch to check. Hitting undo, hitting D to grab our dimension, 
selecting our top horizontal line and our origin dropping our dimension here keying in 55 hitting enter and hitting stop sketch I'm gonna hit escape and rotate selecting back view and inspecting now taking a look at our reference image so it looks good let's now head to our timeline and double click sketch 7 to enter into sketch mode once more I'm gonna zoom in and go to constraints and select coincident selecting this point and this edge this point and this edge hitting escape and grabbing our circle I'm gonna drop our center point here and create a circle smaller than this one so hitting escape and going to constraints and selecting horizontal vertical selecting our center point and the center point of this newly created circle I'm gonna hit escape I'm gonna grab this point to resize this one and grab our center point moving this one down and resizing this and finally I'm gonna hit D to grab our dimension selecting this circle I'm gonna drop our dimension here and key in 16 hitting enter next let's add a radial dimension for this arc dropping it here keying in 11 hitting enter selecting our center point and the center point of the circle dropping our dimension here and keying in 19 selecting the center point of this arc and the center point of the circle dropping our dimension here and keying in 18 or better yet hitting escape double click this one I'm gonna change this to 17.5 so moving our entities to check if we are required to add an additional dimension or constraint I'm gonna hit E for extrude selecting this profile this profile and this profile I'm gonna rotate I'm gonna hide our canvas to have a better view selecting distance selecting two selecting this face operation to be joined and hitting OK awesome moving forward I'm gonna turn on sketch 7 and I'm gonna hit E to grab extrude selecting this profile this profile and this profile so take note three profiles selected grabbing this arrow to the left and the distance to be 2 and selecting this face left click this one once more and left click this face and finally hit OK